It's your girl, Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I so appreciate you guys being here. A couple of days ago, I did a video where I spoke about the most long-lasting body mists from Bath & Body Works, and you guys seem to really enjoy that. And under that video, uh, someone by the name of Shreya, I think that's how you say your name. I apologize if that's not how you say your name. But here, Shreya says, hi, thank you so much for this one. Please make a video on Victoria's Secret Body Mist only long lasting one all right she was quick to point that out she's like i don't care about nothing else we're going to talk about the long lasting body mist and i definitely got you and that's the whole point of doing these videos i want you guys to be happy with your collection i don't want you guys to just add fragrance mist to add them i want you guys to get the most of what you purchase through my recommendations i take that so personally all right <laughs> let's go So I'm just gonna go right ahead and jump right into these fragrances. I'm actually gonna start out with one that I've been really enjoying. It's very new to my collection and it's also very new to Victoria's Secret. The scent that I have here is Floral Affair. Now this is a part of their newest collection called Royal Garden. It's a very beautiful scent, very captivating. As soon as I smelled this one, I just knew I had to have it. It was like love at first sniff. It's one of those fragrances you smell and you're like, oh my God. I got so excited when I smelled this one. The notes that we have here are lily, peach, and pomegranate. This is a very floral scent. It actually smells like the most beautiful bouquet of pink flowers when i smell this one it makes me think of pink flowers not white flowers or yellow flowers or any other kind of flowers it makes me think of pink flowers if i didn't know the notes to this one i would have actually thought that it was a combination of pink peony and pink rose it's a very lush heady scent and it does have a very dewy texture to it it smells like a garden in bloom in the middle of spring. That's what it smells like to me. This is the kind of fragrance that I would wear to a beautiful wedding. It's, it just gives me that kind of vibe. If you pair these together, I promise you it will last for the whole day, but be very careful about how heavy you apply this one because like I said, it's very strong. It could be very heady. It's very long lasting. So definitely apply with care. This is Floral Affair. Up next is Midnight Bloom. I did put off purchasing this one for a very long time because I did see a couple of reviewers mention that this one does remind them of Cloud by Ariana Grande. And I just didn't know if I wanted to add another fragrance with that scent profile to my collection. Being as though I already own Cloud, I have Cloud 2.0 and I just have too many fragrances in my collection with this scent profile. So I decided to pass on this one until I went into Victoria's Secret recently and I tried this one and I just could not resist it. I do think that even though this one does have the same scent profile as Cloud, it does kind of separate itself as it dries down. Now the notes that we have here are Moonflower and Creamy Woods. As it dries down, I feel as though it kind of separates itself from Cloud because the woods used in here are not the same woods used in cloud in regards to lasting power this one is crazy you put this one on and it will literally last for hours i actually do not have the body lotion for this one and i'm in no rush to get the lotion because the first time i wore this one it lasted on me the whole day spread it on my neck spread it between the crooks of my elbow and it lasted i kept getting whiffs of this one for the whole day it was crazy i was not expecting that but this is absolutely one of Victoria's Secret's most long-lasting scents, okay? This is Midnight Bloom. Next is Velvet Petals. Now, I am super excited that Victoria's Secret decided to add this one to their classic collection. Well, I'm not sure if they did, but it's like a staple in Victoria's Secret, and that's probably because it's a very popular scent. It seems to me that it's probably doing very well in Victoria's Secret, and that's because it is such a beautiful scent. If you don't try anything else on this list, please try this one. And even if you've tried it before and your conclusion was that you didn't like it, try it again because to be honest, at first I didn't think much of this scent. Tried it a couple of times, didn't think to purchase it because I felt like it was just gonna be a very generic scent. But this is so far from generic. It's one of the most special fragrances in Victoria's Secret. It's so good. The notes that we have here are Lush Blooms and Almond Glaze. This fragrance literally gives every Thing that you want in a fragrance mist. First of all, it is a bit floral, it's a bit fruity, it's also a little bit nutty, 
and it's also a little bit gourmand. It literally has everything for everyone. The combination of notes is just so amazing. It really catches you off guard. The first time I wore this fragrance, I was like shocked because at first when you spray it on, you get that classic fruity floral type of scent. But as it dries down, that nuttiness and that gourmand feel comes in. It just becomes something completely different. I don't know what the hell Victoria's Secret put in this thing, but it smells so good. It does have a bit of a mature vibe to it but it still remains very youthful so anyone any age could wear this fragrance it's definitely giving me daytime vibes so you could wear this one to work to school you could wear this to a wedding you could wear this to a baby shower it doesn't matter this is the kind of fragrance you could pick up and legit wear anywhere and it garners so many compliments and what i love about this fragrance is that it is just so long lasting longevity is definitely not a problem especially when you layer it with the cream Oh my god, it smells so good. This is a definite must try. I don't care what nobody says. It's a hard fragrance to describe. And even though I think I'm good at describing fragrances, I don't think I'm doing a good job. It's one that you definitely have to try. All right? This is Velvet Petals. Up next is Bare Vanilla. Now, if you found my channel, you probably already knew that this one was going to make the list. How could I not add this one to the list? It's my absolute favorite favorite vanilla fragrance now i have other vanilla fragrances that i absolutely adore but my go-to is bare vanilla because it's gonna give it's gonna give 110 percent in regards to scent and in regards to performance now the notes that we have here are whipped vanilla and soft cashmere now whipped vanilla is what drives me freaking insane i love the vanilla note in here it's sweet it's airy, it's decadent, it's giving me vanilla ice cream, it's giving me vanilla extract. Oh, this fragrance garners so many compliments and that's because it just creates this beautiful, sweet, airy bubble around the wearer. What I love about this one is that when you're wearing it, you can smell it on yourself. I love that. I hate fragrances that I can't smell on myself. I love to be able to enjoy my own fragrance. And when I'm wearing this one, I enjoy that. Another thing that I adore about this fragrance is that cashmere note that we have. It just adds a bit of sophistication to the fragrance. Oh, it's so good. It's long lasting. It has a beautiful sillage. I just love this one. This is Bare Vanilla. Definitely check this one out if you're looking for a fragrance mist with a beautiful vanilla scent and something that's going to carry you throughout the whole day. Next is Pear Glaze. Pear Glaze is super nostalgic for me. I've been wearing this one for so many years. I actually discovered Pear Glaze on a classmate. She used to wear this one religiously every single time. She would come around me every time she would walk by. I would smell this on her. Now, the notes that we have in here are sugared pear and cassava melon. Now, after high school, I did purchase this one because, I don't know, I wanted to see how it worked on me. And I freaking enjoyed it so much. So much so that it was my signature for a couple of years until I just decided to retire it and try other fragrances. But I always promise to keep this one in my collection because I have so many memories attached to this fragrance. The pear in this scent is very strong and it doesn't necessarily have an organic type of scent. It has more of a synthetic pear scent, but it's really nice, especially in combination with the melon. It's very watery, it's fruity, but even though it has that sort of scent profile, it's a very strong scent and you have to be very careful with this one. I don't have the body cream to this and I don't really think I need it because the body mist itself is very strong it's sweet it's fruity it's watery there's something a little bit boozy about this one i'm not sure if anybody else picks it up but i do really nice scent very strong very long lasting you can still find this one on the victoria's secret website so they haven't really retired this one you can still definitely find this one all right so yeah this is pear glaze the next one that i have here is one that i cannot believe that i have in my collection because trust me i resisted this fragrance for so many years whatever it is pure seduction all right now don't judge me i know a lot of people have so much to talk about love spell and pure seduction okay these are old school fragrances they're classics and yes 
it's not really my go-to but the other day I was in Victoria's Secret and I was just looking around and I sprayed this one on my wrist and while I was online I kept smelling this fruity scent it kind of smelled different from everything else and I think that's the reason why I purchased this one it just stood out it was so bold so sweet so fruity so refreshing it was just on 10 after having this experience for a couple of minutes I looked at my husband and I said listen do me a favor go over there there's a fragrance called pear seduction can you please get it for me because i just didn't want to have that regret of going home and have this fragrance drive me crazy like i said i know a lot of people um consider this one to be super fruity it's like a fruit bowl it could be a bit obnoxious it could smell very i don't know childlike i know a lot of us have memories of fragrances like pure seduction and love spell and sometimes the memories aren't so positive for me a lot of girls in my high school used pure seduction and love spell and they kind of overused it i know for me my gym would smell of like i don't know feet other body parts and pure seduction or love spell it was horrible so yeah i had to look beyond all of that all right i get it but i've just kind of accepted this fragrance for what it is in here we have juiced plum and crushed freesia i definitely get the plum it's sweet it's a bit tart i get a bit of florals in here it smells very juvenile but sometimes i appreciate smelling like that the fact that it's such a long lasting scent really appeals to me this is pure seduction another one that i have here is a coconut passion all right now this one has become quite a classic it seems as though a lot of people are now onto this one even though it's been around for quite some time this is like my second bottle now coconut passion is all about coconut and vanilla so if you like the combination of coconut and vanilla with a tropical twist to it you'll definitely like this one this is one of those fragrances that you'll apply and not think much of it but when your body starts warming up you get that sweet vanilla and that coconut and that tropical feel beautiful scent and i absolutely love this one and it does last especially when you layer it i actually like to wear this one when it's very warm because i think that's when it performs the best that's when you can really smell it and enjoy all the facets of this fragrance if you like coconut and vanilla with a tropical touch definitely check this one out okay guys this is coconut passion super long lasting scent that i'm sure you love if you like coconut and vanilla so another very long lasting fragrance that i have on this list is falling water if you are into clean fresh soapy scents you better listen up because this is one that you're definitely gonna want to try unfortunately they no longer have this one in store or on the victoria's secret website so you may have to go to uh websites like mercari or ebay or amazon to look for this one but anyway guys this is a beautiful scent it's clean it's fresh it's not my go-to when i want to smell clean and fresh now the notes that we have in here are dewy pear and blue moss which is crazy because i don't smell anything fruity about this one i definitely don't get pear all i get here is that beautiful powder detergent type of smell with a bit of an aquatic undertone but the aquatic scent that i'm getting here definitely does not overpower that clean detergent scent beautiful scent super long lasting i would apply it right now if i didn't already put velvet petals all over myself which is all i can smell right now but yeah so if you're like me and you desire to smell like clean fresh laundry all day long definitely look into this scent it's beautiful this is falling water up next is pinks warm and cozy now, i've had this one in my collection for quite some time and i just never felt i don't know a real connection with this fragrance i've also worn the fresh and clean version which is a little bit more up my alley i think it's called fresh and clean i'm not sure but that one is a little bit more up my alley at least when it just came out it kind of reminded me a little bit of light blue by dolce and gabbana and if you find my channel you know i love that fragrance so this one warm and cozy was definitely not my vibe even though i really really wanted to like it i decided to revisit this fragrance now this one has notes of toasted vanilla and peony so it is a floral gourmand type of scent it has this beautiful balance of flowers and vanilla it's just it's so pretty and let me tell you it is long lasting 
I've always kind of assumed that this one wasn't long lasting. I've assumed that all the fragrances from Pink are not long lasting. And because of that, I kind of stayed away from them because I'm like, girl, who got time for that? But this one is actually long lasting. That night that I tried this one out, I kind of just sprayed it on my shoulder. I kept getting wafts of the fragrance every time I would move or something like that. If I'm being honest, it's not super unique, borderline generic, but it's like good generic. Y'all know what I mean, all right? It is a long lasting scent that has been my experience with this scent this is pinks warm and cozy so the last fragrance on this list is one that i recently added to my collection i'm still trying this one out so bear with me all right it's very new to victoria's secret it's their newest scent bear i did pick up the fragrance mist and not the perfume itself because this is just a trial for me i want to see how it works with me on my chemistry and whatnot uh, here we have notes of Australian sandalwood, Mandarin Madagascar, and Egyptian violet. Now, this fragrance was very tricky for me. Um, while I was in store and I tried this one, I was kind of like in disbelief. I thought it was going to be much more than it is. And I just, I was very, I was very, very disappointed, girl. I'm not going to lie, very disappointed. But I did notice one thing about this scent, and that is it freaking lingers. And I'm talking about the fragrance mist itself. If you want to save yourself some coins, if you like this fragrance, you want to save yourself some coins, don't, you don't have to buy the perfume because the body mist does linger. I don't even want to know how freaking strong the perfume is if the body mist is this long lasting. So Victoria's Secret definitely did their thing in regards to quality. Now this is a very simple scent in the way it's composed. So it's not a very um complex scent you're not gonna get like a lot of va va voom or anything like that in here i'm getting like a pale mandarin scent with that sandalwood and some muskiness very bare scent even though it does feel rather light and airy and minimalistic it's a very powerful scent when i'm wearing this one it's almost as though I can't escape it. It's kind of weird because it creates like a bubble around the wearer and it's very long lasting. According to Victoria's Secret, this fragrance becomes you. Bear mixes with your unique body chemistry to reveal the perfect signature scent. So apparently this is one of those fragrances that becomes you. It's gonna have a unique scent depending on your body chemistry. So it's gonna become one with you. It's gonna smell different on everyone else. And let me tell you, I don't like what it does with my skin chemistry at all. Maybe on you it will work. So obviously it is a type of fragrance that you're gonna have to try it out for yourself. Is it long lasting? Yes ma'am, it's definitely long lasting. Definitely go out, try this one, see if you like it. I hope it works for you. It just does not work for me. Definitely try that one out. Okay, guys, so that is it for me. If you got this far, do me a huge favor and leave a pink emoji down in the comments. I only do that because I want to know if you guys are watching to the end. It's so hard to tell what's going on with your videos if you guys leave halfway through or after the intro. Like, what happens? Do you guys get this far? And that's the only reason why I'm asking you guys to do that because it helps me a lot. I'm trying to help you guys build the perfect collection but you know of course i'll always recommend that you try these fragrances for yourself if you want me to do a particular video i'll be happy to do it just leave your requests or your recommendations down below in the comments okay guys so that's it for me i'm out bye